Hey, how's everybody doing this weekend? I'm Jennifer Moore with The Sewing Report and welcome to another live edition. And this week we're going to be talking about my favorite easy patterns for beginners. So if you're new to garment sewing, you haven't made a lot of clothing before, I'm going to share the patterns that I've tried that I love and we're going to talk about it. Also, I want you to share your favorite patterns as well. So let me get this uh, computer going so that we can maybe like, you know, see what's happening here. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I know I am. We're gonna turn some of these lights down a little bit. They're a little bit bright here. I don't wanna be like, I don't wanna look like a ghost in here. So we're gonna try to tone it down. Maybe just a little bit here. Here we go. There we go. So this is a little, I think this is a little bit better, right? There we go. But yeah, this is definitely, it's definitely better. Sorry guys. Just trying to adjust the lighting here so I don't look super, super like washed out and stuff. Because who wants that? So let me try to get the comments. Let me know if you have a comment, also where you're watching from. And to everyone out there, thank you so much. We hit 4,000 subscribers this weekend. So Sewing Report Squad, you are awesome. And towards the end of this show, I'm actually going to make an announcement because I'm doing a... I think what it, what's a pretty good, I'm doing what I think is a pretty good giveaway. So let me know what you think. Hello, Vicky. Vicky is here. And I'm just going to try to get in the comments. It's a lot easier for me to see on the computer rather than like try to read off the screen. So I'm going to try to do that instead because it's a lot easier for me to try to do it that way. So anyways, hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, I had to work on the 4th of July. But the good thing is, I work in downtown Atlanta, and I work like 3 to 11 p.m. So by the time I got out, luckily the fireworks show was over, and there wasn't like a bunch of heavy traffic, because a few years ago I had to work at night, and it took me like an hour to get in from getting off the highway because of all the traffic from people watching the fireworks show. So that was not fun. Um, anyways, let me know what you did on the 4th of July, if you had any plans. Happy Sunday to Vicki. And yeah, so in the description box, I've linked all of the, uh, I've linked all of the patterns and books that I love, and uh, you can go check them out. Some of them are actually free. Some of them are uh, like indie pattern companies. Actually, most, actually, I think all of the patterns are indie pattern companies, and I'll explain a little bit later why I think they're better for beginners. Vicky, all right. So here is where my sleeve journey is. In, in case you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram. I had a little, little bit of a struggle this week, and I know this happens to everybody with Vogue 8772. It is a blouse pattern, and it's one that my friend Emily Hallman Designs has made quite a few times. I love it. So I tried to make the collared shirt version because I didn't have enough uh, for the pussy bow blouse version, and I'm getting hung up in the sleeve section. So Vicki, here's what, what, ha what I did. I ended up ripping out all of those stitches uh, pressing that fabric again and I've decided to put that pressure on hold just because it was so frustrating I just needed to walk away so I think sometimes that happens when you have a project and you just can't do it like you do you just can't so I I'm gonna work on some other stuff I actually thought of a really cool project uh, a couple days ago that I'm gonna try to execute so we're gonna see if that works out and I also got a I'm probably in the future going to do a sewing pattern haul because in case you haven't noticed, the uh, McCall's like Butterick Vogue Quick Sew website, they've been having all kinds of massive sales. So definitely check it out because their sales have been crazy. Um, like like $1.99 patterns, the Vogue patterns right now are like $4.79. And also I've noticed that McCall's has like a yearly club, so if you pay $9.99, you get an even bigger discount on all the patterns. So if you do that, like the, I think it's the McCall's and Butter patterns, they're like $1.79. Now they do charge a bit for the shipping, like each pattern is at least $2 for shipping. Um, and then like if you get like four or five patterns, the shipping jumps to $8. So even though the patterns are cheap, you do have to keep into account the shipping cost because it can add up um, if you're buying like more than two or three patterns. So yeah, so Vicky, the sleeve journey is, uh, it's, it's not going right now. Um, um, yeah, but, uh, I am trying to convince my, I'm trying to convince Emily Hallman 
designs to maybe make some tutorial videos because I think she would be great at it. And uh, I think uh, her expertise, I love following her Instagram stories. And I've told her this, but the only thing with the Instagram stories is that they only last 24 hours. And I need more. I just need more and I want to watch her videos over and over again. And yeah, they only last a day. So I would love, like honestly, I would love to spend a week with Emily and just learn everything she knows. Or at least try to learn some of what she knows in that period of time. Because I think that girl is so talented and she really knows what she's doing. Which is awesome. So anyways, how, how was your 4th of July weekend? Let me know what you did on the 4th. I went to work and uh, I think, I'm trying to remember what we had for dinner. I think my husband did end up, I think James ended up making something, but I can't remember, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it must have been that memorable, right? So Vicky says, I prefer to do set in sleeves rather than sewing them flat. And Vicky, if you have any other tips like on how you um, deal with the ease, let me know because clearly I need help. So, yeah, sorry, I need to get a drink right now. Oh, yes, and I did find the prom mug. Hello, Champagne Twist. Welcome, welcome. And we're talking, today we're going to be talking about easy sewing patterns for beginners. And also, I want to know if you have any recommendations for patterns that you recommend to beginners. Definitely let me know what they are. And... Again, I found a way finally to save all the comments from the live stream by copying and pasting them and then putting them in a comment when this processes into a video. So at least that's a way where if you make a comment during the live stream, other people can see the comment later on. So it's a the format's a little bit funky, but it's functional. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me. It's uh, I'm very proud of myself because I also managed to tape two videos today before the show. So I'm very, uh, I'm feeling very proud of myself and I might try to get some sewing done in the afternoon. So, sorry, my nose is starting to run um, or something. I don't know, I think it's like the weather or something, but my nose has just been, my allergies have been kind of going like a little crazy on me. So the first pattern that I would recommend, and actually I'm wearing the pattern right now, it is Grainline Studios Scout Tee. And I am not even sure how I discovered Greenline Studios to begin with, but this is definitely, oh, I think I got a craftsy kit. So I've made probably like three or four of these shirts. So this I got in a kit and it came with some really cute cotton steel octopus fabric. And I made this and yeah, difficulty says beginner. And I would definitely agree. This is a great pattern for beginners. There are no buttons. There are no zippers. There are no, there's no fasteners. So, um, this is meant to be made with a woven fabric. I love this pattern and it actually fits me well. Um, the only thing I have about, the only gripe, if, if it's even a gripe that I have about this pattern is that because it's woven fabrics and because there's no like fastener, sometimes I have a hard time getting this shirt off at the end of the day. Um, especially because I don't want to get like makeup or any crap on the shirt. So I have to like pull it over and be real careful with it. Um, if anyone knows of a hack, maybe I'll work on a hack. I would love to hack it so that you could put a zipper in the back or so that you could even just open it up a little bit and then put like an iron hook in it just so that you've got a little more clearance room in the neck area. But I like the neckline. It's not like, it's not like super low. Um, you know, I work in a professional environment and I can't be, you know, I can't be wearing certain things to the office. So this is actually a good shirt to wear. Um, it's cute. It's cotton. Um, I did the quilting cotton, quilting cotton thing, and I and I think I have a blog post on this on sewingreport.com. But I actually made a matching skirt. It's which is another one of the tutorials. Uh, this is a free tutorial by Noodlehead, and she has this easy way to make a skirt without pattern pieces or anything really. And it's got like a little bit of an elastic waistband and it's like a like a gathered skirt. Very cute. I made a skirt in the same fabric and it looks like a dress when you're wearing it together. So I like mix and match separates just because, you know, what if I don't want to wear a dress? If I just made this in a dress, I couldn't wear this with jeans or something. So by doing more separates, I find that I can have more options with what I can wear things with and what I can pair stuff with. So I really like making, uh, you know, separates 
sometimes rather than just a dress or something that's a whole outfit. Just because then I can wear like the skirt with another shirt, I could wear this top with an, with another bottom. Um, or I could just not wear pants at all, you know, I mean that, that's cool too. Alright, we've got Champagne Twist, easy sewing patterns. Aprons, okay, that's actually a good one. Um, Champagne Twist, do you have any recommendation for apron patterns or April tutor apron tutorials? Feel free to throw a link in there. And yeah, everybody in here, I don't care if you link to yourself or you link, like if you have a tutorial that's good, feel free to s do some self-promotion here as well. Amy says, I understand the need to walk away for a bit. I'm working on a foundation paper piece quilt that I designed and chain assembly. 10 blocks at once, that's a lot. I was sewing till 2 a.m. and the next morning. Yeah, Amy, I think you deserve a break today. Maybe a Kit Kat bar and like a, like a, like a, like a glass of wine or something. Um, that sounds like a lot. All right, we've got M. Gilbert here. Great to see you live again. I've just made a great pattern from Style Arc called the Ethel Designer Top. Love it, going to make a ton of, make it a ton of times. Might be one for you or some followers. Yes, and guys, Feel free, um, if you have a link to the pattern, feel free to throw it in there so our other the other people watching um, can find it too. You know, again, I really don't care if you put a link in there um, or if you link in the comments, even if it's your own blog. If you've got a great tutorial for something or a better way to do things, you know what, let us know about it. This is the place for that. Um, I'm totally down with it, so don't be afraid to link. I Like in any of my videos, if you have like a great thing you wanna share with the other people in there, Feel free to do it because that makes it easy for people to find rather than Googling it, they just click on the link. All right, we've got Amy. I just, I looked and realized the last parts I had sewn the night before were backwards and had to spend an hour taking it all out. Oh no, Amy, you really need that glass of wine, girl. Like you, that would, that would really suck. I'm so sorry, Amy. Ugh. All right, Vicki, all right, she's got a suggestion for the Scout Tea. You could make a seam down the back and ins insert a short zip, or you could make a keyhole opening the back. And Vicki, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, um, both of these pieces are just cut on the fold. I was actually thinking, what if I took the back piece, added a little bit of room in there, like, a, like extended it out a little bit, cut two pieces, and then I could put like an invisible zipper in there or something. Uh, because this top is just finished with bias tape. So I think that, maybe I'll try that just because I really like this shirt. The only problem I have with it is really that the net like I just have a hard time getting it over my head and because it's a woven fabric there's not a lot of stretch to it and I'm afraid of breaking it all right we've got Vicky all right champagne twist for a super easy top how about the Colette Sorbetta which is free to download you learn how to assemble PDFs too and a champagne twist I actually have seen the Colette Sorbetta and I was interested in making it the only reason I didn't put it in my list is because I haven't personally tried the pattern so all of the patterns that I have in there are patterns that I've actually made and tested. So if you've made the Sorbetto, let me know. Um, let me know what you think, um, you know, or if you've made any of the patterns I've listed. Um, the other patterns I listed are Green Line Studios Linden Sweatshirt. That's made with a knit, which it, it, but it's super easy. I've made like five or six of them and they have different styles and also I added um if you follow me on Instagram um you might have noticed I took the like shorter sleeve version of the linden and I made like a circle like peplum sleeve to it detail which turned out really cute and I've made the linden you can mix and match the fabric so I've used like certain fabrics for the sleeves other fabrics for the front and back and there's so much you can do with the linden and I think it's a great I saw one uh there was a blogger named Penelope and she made one, and that's actually, I think, first how I found out about the Linden. She put a really cool lace panel on the front and back. Um, it was gorgeous, and it really upped the, like, I don't know if you can, it's possible to make a sweatshirt look elegant, but she made a sweatshirt look elegant, which is, which is impressive. The other ones I've linked, oh, um, So Sweetness. Um, she's actually one of the first bloggers I started following, and one of the first bag makers that I tried out. So she's got a free video and I've linked to her blog post. It's called the Easy Leather Hobo Bag. You don't need to make it in leather. You could make it in other fabrics too, but she's got the free, uh, it's a free pattern and also a free step-by-step -step video. Sarah's bridged out into making videos for um, her bags and I think it's fantastic because I think having that visual learning tool that's not just photos really helps people to get the pattern. Um, in fact, 
Um, I watched the whole video and it made, again, she made it look really easy and she is very good at explaining things. So I really wish more pattern designers would do sew along videos or, you know, more step-by-step -step videos. Now, Sarah does have other videos, um, but you kind of buy it as like an online class. So not all of them are free, but I do wish more, especially like the big four pattern companies, I really wish um, they would do more in the way of video instruction because I feel like the pattern instructions for some of the the commercial patterns are just not very clear and not very easy to understand, especially when you've never done the technique before. Or even if they do technique videos, that would be cool. But um, one of the reasons I really like indie pattern companies is just because they really make the instructions very easy to understand. I find the illustrations are good and clear. And then I also love that a lot of times if they have a blog, they do sew along videos with step-by-step -step pictures and there's a lot of support there. And I think that's important when you're just getting started uh, because if you have a pattern that you really like don't get, it's going to be pretty hard for you to, to get. Um, all right, a couple more comments. All right, um, what is your best pattern recommendation for a beginner? Um, now, Jewelry Lady, Carmen, Sol uh, so, is it Salome or Salome? I would um, I would say it depends on if you're sewing clothing. I really think this Scout tee is a good one to start with. Um, and also, I actually did set the sleeves in flat on this pattern, and it was not that bad. Um, so this one, I didn't find the sleeves to be too much of a pain. Um, I would echo Champagne Twist. The Colette Cerbetto looks fairly straightforward. Um, and the other book, um, the one book that I would really recommend you pick up is Love at First Stitch Demystifying Dressmaking by Tilly Walns. Tilly Walns is British and she is super cute. And her book is amazing. It really um, is very instructional and it comes with five free patterns. It comes with like a skirt, um, I think a top. It comes with uh, an, uh, actually two skirts and it comes with two dresses. And I really feel like her instructional style and um, writing style is very, very beginner friendly. So if you've never done dressmaking before or any garment sewing, I would definitely really, really recommend you pick up Love at First Stitch. It's a great book. I can't recommend it highly enough. And all of the photos are in color. And she really does a great job of explaining different sewing terms. And it's it's very, it's not just a book of patterns. It's definitely a good primer for the beginner dressmaker. So Vicky says, I agree with patterns having confusing instructions for newbies. I usually rewrite the directions for students. And Vicky, that's like, I get the big four where they're coming from. I mean, they sell their patterns pretty cheap. Like, I won't lie. These, um, like this pattern is like, whoops, the pieces just fell out of here. This pattern is like, if you get the PDF, it's like $14 and like the paper version is like 18. Uh, this pattern, this is another recommendation of mine. This is the uh, Sew House 7 toaster sweater. Very easy and everything has bands on it so you don't have to worry about hemming knits, which is one reason I really like this pattern and also the linden sweatshirt is because you can get away with not having to worry about using a twin needle or anything. You can use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or you can use a serger. I have used a serger to make this uh, sweater. I made a couple of them. And I do have a vi I do have videos on some of these. Um, although I personally, I'm actually going to be making, I, I, sew, I tape myself sewing a linden sweatshirt. It's not a full out tutorial or like sew along, but it basically just shows me making it. And I figured maybe those types of videos might help um, beginner seamstresses. So I'm going to be making a few of those. I also made another video. I made yet another underwear video for a free pattern. I found that's pretty simple. So I've got some stuff coming down the pipe for me. But here's the thing. I'm not like a, I'm not a master seamstress. So there's only so much I can do. Um, but to the more accomplished seamstresses out there, I would love if you could make more tutorials or even shoot like good quality videos of stuff you're doing. Because I would like I would get a lot out of it and I know a lot of other people would too. So I know there are some channels out there already, but I think there definitely needs to be more, especially for more advanced techniques. All right, we've got uh, 
Kemishwari. Kate, I agree that the Scout tee is perfect for the beginner. Yeah, and this shirt really is great. I think the fit, it's got enough ease to it where it's pretty forgiving with the fit. So, like, I made, I actually made zero alterations to this pattern. There are no darts to it. Like, it's very straightforward. Vicky says, I have step-by-step -step videos for my students to follow for the projects. Vicky, do you have a YouTube channel? If not, I think you should start one. Because I would love to see, like, I feel like there's a lack of good, I do feel like there's a lack of good content, especially for, um, like, patterns. Um, like, I've seen some, but I think there needs to be more pattern instructional videos. Like, the so along and the blogs are great, and they are helpful, but I do think a lot of people um, really resonate more with video instruction rather than written instruction in photos. So that's the one, I think, my one constructive criticism on the pattern industry overall is that some, like, it's, and again, I'm trying to make that Vogue 8772. Like, there are even things that I was looking at Emily Hallman's pictures to see how she did it because I felt like the instructions did not explain it very well, especially on, like, the sleeve placket. Like, I was trying to figure out if you're supposed to turn those in or keep them out. And Emily actually turned one of the ends in and left one out. So that was, like, I'm glad I saw her photo because I was like, wow, I, was, I would have done that wrong. All right, Vicky says, I have one for school, but I'm switching to a personal one. Yes. All right, so Vicky, we will look forward to some videos from you. Check out PWMSFACS. I'm assuming that's like a central school district type thing. So actually, let's go there right now. All right, youtube.com. I know that's very elementary, but um, yeah, so let me know what other patterns you like. I also included um, So Sweetness's Tudor bag. I think that's pretty, that's a little more advanced than probably the hobo bag, but I still thought it was a pretty decent one if you know basic sewing uh, techniques. I thought that was pretty, pretty okay too. All right, so Vicky has a YouTube channel, and Vicky, yeah, if you're a, um, master seamstress or you have a lot of experience you know think about doing a youtube channel or at least making some okay vicky all right vicky wow you do have some videos here vicky all right so vicky has some uh she's got like cutting out fabric marking pieces plain seams wanting a bobbin all great information so definitely um vicky i'm gonna go ahead and subscribe right now Good stuff, but yeah, start a personal one because like, like I can, you know, I have got a lot, of, I will give myself an A for enthusiasm, but look, I, I know that I am not, I'm not perfect and I don't have decades of experience sewing. So I do this because I want to motivate you to sew and because I want to uh, just share like my, you know, my thoughts. I, I taped a video today about my ruler collection and I just want to encourage other, basically the whole goal behind this is to encourage people to sew and also share tips and tricks that I found. Um, I mean, I have made a few tutorial type videos, but you know, they're definitely more beginner projects. Um, as I get more advanced, maybe I would be able to do more stuff like that. We, we will see though. We'll have to see. All right, uh, we've got, uh, all right, so we've got Sarah, Tilly and the Buttons patterns are easy. I would definitely, again, that's why it's definitely top of the list. I think that book, if you haven't done a lot of garment sewing, that book is a must, definitely a must-have item. It's it's well written, it's got beautiful photography, and also she shows you how to do different things with the patterns. So she has a dress um, called the Megan dress that I've made. I actually made that in a knit, and it came out great, and uh, she shows you different things, like you can color block it, you can make the top one color and the bottom another color, you can add belts to it, you can add bows. So I think she she really, I think Tilly Walms is a great sewing voice for our generation. And I think she is very, she very, has very well executed kind of how to make sewing appealing to younger people too. Because you can make really cute stuff. And I think, um, you know, DIY projects and crafts are something that, you know, especially young girls are actually really into. So if there's a way to tap into that, I think we need to appeal to to people in that age range. All right, do we have more comments? Oh, I love your, Vicky says, I love your enthusiasm. Keep sharing, we need more sewists. Yes, and that's the whole goal is we need more people sewing. 
We don't want to be in the situation where I know you've been where you talk to someone about sewing and their eyes glaze over or they tell you how much their grandma loves sewing. It's like, thanks, you know. I, you know, I think it's great that your grandma sews, but you know what, there's no reason you can't start sewing either. Like, people think it's just for a certain demographic, and I think that's just, that's just untrue. Alright, how do we get to Vicky's site on YouTube? And I will actually, uh, alright, I found the channel. I think I can add a comment here. Alright, so let me try to, Vicky, and actually Vicky's channel looks very promising. So, especially, um, in Vicky... Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like your channel is very kid friendly. Um, like the projects are definitely good. It's they seem very good for um, for students or for someone that's um, you know under the age 16. So it looks very it looks very um, enticing for like she's got drawstring bags. So that's pretty cool, and they they definitely seem very uh, you know she's got some good close ups. So. Vicki, thank you for sharing that with us, and I did not know you. Okay, so Vicki teaches middle schoolers, and I think that's a great age to get someone into sewing. They're old enough to, like, I feel like if someone starts sewing when they're five or something, like, I'm not saying they won't stay with it, but kids, you know, you know kids, their interests change all the time. I think if they start in middle school or something, that's when they can really start to cement their passions. Um, so I think that's a great age to start teaching them things working with their hands like woodworking or sewing or really anything with their hands I think is really beneficial to to us and to our mental health and just to our quality of life. So that's why I think we need to keep uh, keep motivating and keep encouraging people in our lives to give sewing a chance. Sorry, my voice is starting to go. I was talking a lot. Um, Again, of course, by myself to the camera. So, um, and I'll tell you, so, um, all right, so it's announcement time. So on Instagram, I'm doing a giveaway. So I posted a photo of some of the stuff that's going to be in the giveaway. It's at, I'm at Sewing Report. And I've also linked in the description box where you can find me on Instagram. So um, if you uh, repost, repost the photo, you could be entered to win a very, what I think is a pretty decent haul of sewing and quilting goodies. It also comes with a couple uh, garment patterns. So, um, take advantage and uh, the giveaway is open until Friday, July, I think, I think 6th, I think 14th, yes. So it's going to be open until the 14th, you've got until the 14th on Friday to enter and you can check it out on Instagram and that is where the giveaway is happening. Uh, but it's basically a way to say thank you. Um, you know, this channel is growing and there's, I'm meeting more and more really cool people. So this is just a way of saying thank you very much. And I really, really appreciate all of you being here. You know, you could be doing anything else, but you're here with me. Um, clearly I have, and I have no life. So, you know, I, this is really all I do is sewing and work, sewing and work. Occasionally I eat, but usually I'm eating while I'm like editing a video or something. So I'm usually doing other, like I've got sewing on the brain, pretty much. Sewing and video production, those are the two things that I've really got um, that I really spend most of my time thinking about when I'm not at work. All right, Vicki says, uh, I am a Panamanian in Sweden watching you. Wow, I did, oh, is it, oh, it's a Vicarin watching. Thank you for your video. Wow, Sweden, oh, cool. That's kind of awesome. Um, Vera, I've never been to Sweden. It sounds amazing. But thank you very much. Vicki, I would recommend doing a project with woven fabric first and something that is not very fitted, like a bag or PJ pants. Oh, and I think that's that's a great idea. And also, I forgot the Tilly, um, the Tilly Walls book, Love at First Stitch. It has a, a pattern for PJ pants in there, drawstring pants. So that book really has a lot of good beginner-friendly garment projects. Highly recommend it. Can't recommend it enough. Also, um... Noodle had that lady um, that I recommended the vintage inspired skirt tutorial in the link below. Um, she also has a lot of really great tutorials for um, little like little projects like bags or like boxes or you know storage containers. Real cute stuff. I love her aesthetic and she's got a lot of free resources on her site, so I would definitely recommend that as well. All right, all right, we got a couple 
All right, we've got Sarah D. I would start me. I start some Mimi G style. The patterns often come with the video like sew alongs, and I'm watching you from France. Wow, Sarah. And I'm so sorry. Um, um, the giveaway on Instagram. I would like to mention this uh, right now. It's 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 only open to the U.S. residents. So for everyone watching from other places, I'm really sorry. It's just the shipping is astronomical once you get outside the continental United States, and there's probably a fairly good chance the package would get lost. Um, so in the future, I, I'm hoping to maybe open up the giveaways or whatnot to other places, but right now I gotta stick with what's reliable. And uh, so this contest is open for U.S. residents. Uh, it's going on an Instagram. And oh, and I wanted to update you guys. So I started the uh, D Stash account on Instagram at Sewing Report Shop, and it's a place where I'm basically listing like fabric that I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to use. I have a lot of really cute prints. Um, and also sewing patterns that I'm probably never going to get around to. So I'm listing some stuff just to just to kind of streamline my collection and not be so much of a hoarder. So if you are looking for um, some of my own personal collection, collection, and you'd like to, uh, and you you'd be interested in having it uh, in your own home instead, or if you like some of my fabrics or patterns, feel free to check that out as well. Um, again, I can only ship that stuff to the U.S. as well. Um, just because after that it, it does not become it's very cost prohibitive shipping is and is it just me or are the shipping prices insane like even within the United States I feel like they've doubled over the past few years and I'm just like wow this is really expensive like uh, the flat rate padded envelope the shipping is seven dollars and twenty cents um, I just mailed out some stuff earlier this week and it was four dollars to ship one yard of canvas fabric so uh, the shipping costs are they're definitely getting up there. So if you do do mail order stuff, but yeah, I wanted to kind of check back in with you guys just just to show how it was tell you how it was going. Um, this week I made two sales and they were both fabrics. So um, I listed some patterns on the Instagram account and some fabric, and the fabric is actually the only thing that's sold. I might try another aspect of this experiment. I might try to post some some actual handmade items just to see what happens. So this is an ongoing experiment that I'm going to be doing and I will keep continuing to update you in these live shows on uh, if I sold anything. So far I've made 35 bucks, um, although pretty much I just got my money back. Um, so I don't know if you'd call that a win, but at least it frees up some space in my fabric cabinet and hopefully this fabric goes to a good home. Um, in the future I may also do some more giveaways with some fabric. Um, I have a lot of out of print stuff that's kind of hard to find and I've been collecting fabric for four years so I think I have a pretty good stash um, but yeah it's it's fun and there's it's a little hard because there's always new fabrics coming out and then you're like oh I really want that and it's only going to be available for a certain amount of time and then you end up having like way way too much fabric so I mean there are certain prints that I keep buying just because I'm like oh I need more of this certain print and I probably have five yards of it. Really, there's no need. All right, Vicky, congr oh, and congrats, Vicky says congrats on doing some hand embroidery. That has a real, it can have a real zen vibe to it. And Vicky, it was, it was fun. I'm glad I tried it. And it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be difficult, but it actually was a lot of fun. And I apologize, my voice is starting to go. I'm probably gonna have to check out pretty soon. But um, anyways, um, I will keep, I, you know, and I'm actually not sure what next week's topic is going to be on the live show. So if you have any suggestions, like any topics we haven't covered that you would like to talk about and have a conversation with with other people, uh, let me know because I'm, I will seriously take it into consideration. Um, I look, I read every single comment that comes in on the videos and on the live streams. And I want to, again, this is not just a place for me. This is a place for all of us. So uh, if you have any topics that you think are important to us and want us to have be the center of one of the shows, let me know because I am seriously taking suggestions, taking requests here. And, you know, and also, uh, you know, I've been trying to think of ways to, you know, different formats for videos. I'm going to be trying out some different things. Um, all sewing, of course, all sewing related. Um, so I'm going to be trying some different I want to I want to continue to grow as a video creator as well 
So I like making videos. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, it's a lot of work, but I really enjoy it and I want to just keep getting better. Um, you know, growing my editing skills and just the shooting style. I think I've gotten, I've definitely gotten better since I first started. Um, but eventually I would like to, uh, you know, I like to make really cool videos. That's something that else that I enjoy. All right, we've got IT Vicky. I teach crochet and hand embroidery in summer, summer school. That is awesome. Do the students, uh, how do the students, and Vicky, I want to ask you a question in return. How do the students uh, respond to learning about that stuff? Are they like really jazzed about it? Like I just, I'm curious. I don't have any kids and I don't spend a lot of time with kids. So I'm curious to know like what, you know, how the response is and if they seem really excited to do it, do you think they're going to continue on with it? Maybe as an adult, that would be awesome. And I think it's great that you're trying to teach what you know to younger people. Our Champagne Twist has an idea, top five indie sewing pattern companies. That is, that's a good one. So maybe we can talk about, maybe next week we can talk about indie pattern companies, um, kind of what the differences are between the big four and indie pattern companies and what you like about them, what you don't like about them, and what, what are your favorite indie pattern companies. That's, you know what, Champagne Twist, let's, let's do it. I'm going to mark it in the calendar. And yeah, I do keep a calendar. This is my little calendar, and I keep track of what I do every, yes, I try to be organized, and I actually like paper calendars. Um, like, I mark down, like, what videos are going to drop on what day, and also, like, you know, what I worked on. Like, you know, yesterday I worked on some stuff. I think I did actually write it down, or maybe not. Uh, but today's live show is about beginner sewing patterns, and, uh, Next week, I'm actually going to put in pen that we're going to talk about top indie pattern companies. So that's happening. Top indie. And there, is it just me? There are so many indie pattern companies, and I've seen like a gazillion for children's clothing. Some of them are super cute. Um, so I am, a, I am a fan. I'm a fan of the indie pattern companies. The only thing I don't like about them sometimes is... Um, they're kind of expensive, like, but I get it. It's a small business. They don't, you know, they're not some big corporation like McCall's or Simplicity. And also, I find their instructions are very detailed. So, I mean, is it something like you get what you pay for? I don't know. What do you think? Um, all right. So, top five indie patterns companies. That's going to be, uh, all right. So, next week, Champagne Twist, we are, we are doing it. We're doing it. All right, and we've got Joanne. I teach kids to sew cushion covers and pencil case or basic elasticated waisted skirts. They love making the skirt. Joanne, that's awesome. And um, now do you, all right, so for people who teach sewing, if you teach sewing and you're watching this, I want to know kind of, do you feel like a lot of the students will take these skills with them? Do you think this will become a more of a deep rooted activity they do? Like, I don't know, I just want to know your opinion on, you know, if you think these kids are going to continue. Because I think it's great that we're teaching kids these these skills when they're younger. And hopefully, hopefully they carry it with them to adulthood and beyond. So then they can become a crazy, you know, they can become a crazy sewist like we are. Um, because, I don't know, like sewing to me, it's not a casual hobby. It's something you either don't do at all or you're like 100% complete, full-on obsessed with it. The, the, like, it's like a polar opposite, but I don't meet a lot of people that are kind of in between. Like, you're usually either on one opposite of the spectrum or the other. I don't know. So, all right, so we're going to add this, and today we are talking about easy. Yeah, I forgot to put that down. But today is July 9th, yes, beginner sewing patterns. And, yes, I shot, and I also put, like, because I just want to keep track of what I'm doing. I put down, like, shot two videos this day, and then I put down what they are. Um... So Vicky says that's what they sign up for. Some get really jazzed about it. Some it is mostly to be able to hang out with friends. I also really encourage the community and creativity aspects of crochet and embroidery. Linda says I like some of the indie patterns but hate putting the patterns together. I tend to have the local staples print them out but they had no idea how to do it and quoted me an astronomical price. Oh, well that sounds like a big hassle. I would agree with you. Um, Sometimes taping out, like printing out and taping all the pieces together, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. 
Um, the one thing I do like about the big four, especially if the pattern is like $1.99, like it's kind of worth it not to, like I've, and, and again, I haven't always practiced this. I usually like trace out the pieces on tracing paper and keep the tissue pattern intact. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know what, it's $1.99. I can just get two of them and then save myself the time. Because when you go to a print shop, I have gotten PDFs printed at the print shop and it was like $6 a piece. So instead I could just get some pa get like multiple copies of a dollar ninety nine paper pattern and then just cut out whatever view I want with no abandon and just have another one waiting for me so that I don't have to keep tracing um, stuff. So I might do that. We'll, we'll see. Um, I do have multiple copies of a few patterns. Um, I mean, they're like a dollar seventy nine, and I I did notice McCall's Mc, Mc, is having another site wide sale. So that's a little bit dangerous uh, for me. I We got another comment. I agree the Indies are more expensive. I live in Jamaica and with the exchange right there, we're even more expensive compared to McCall's, which I can buy on sale. And that's the thing, like, while the pattern instructions for McCall's and the Big Four aren't as detailed, they are pretty cheap. So if you do have a lot of garment skills already and you don't really need to follow the instructions, um, it is very cost effective to just buy commercial patterns. Especially if they fit you pretty well. Like I've noticed the McCall's, the fit actually is pretty good for my body type. So I don't really have to make a lot of alterations so far. Um, I'm going to try, and I think in another video I'm going to do a big pattern haul because I have picked up a lot of patterns. So there might be one or two pattern hauls. Uh, the only thing is I don't have enough fabric to possibly make all of these. Which is again, it's like a catch-22. Like I keep buying more patterns and then I don't have enough fabric. But I don't want any more fabric and I don't want need any more patterns. But every time I see one of those McCall's patterns, I'm like, wow, it's only $1.99. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I've right, got Joanne. I've had one go on to fashion design at school. I think it's a good life skill like cooking. Yeah, I mean, sewing your own clothes and sewing things from your home is... A very handy skill to have, and you can actually save money, um, especially if you're making things that are expensive traditionally, like making your own window treatments, or if you want to make design, if you want to make like couture type clothing, it is very cost effective. Although, um, if you're just trying to get like cheap t shirts, obviously, ready to wear is far less expensive, but again, there's a lot of ethical implications with that and impacts on the environment, so there's like a trade off for every one of them. All right, Linda, it shouldn't be that hard for a printer to print out the patterns for you and the cost should be prohibitive. Um, Linda, if I was in a bigger city, that would work. The one independent printer I used went out of business. Linda, that is that is a bummer. Oh, so there was one and it went out of business? Well, that stinks. All right, so we're just gonna be, uh, so yeah, so um, anyways, this has been fun, guys. And again, um, be sure to go over to Instagram if you would like to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is repost the, the photo and hashtag uh, sewing report July giveaway and tag me in it. And that's all you have to do to enter. And you can win a uh, pretty good grab bag of sewing and quilting goodies. And also um, everything you see in the photo, I'm going to be adding more to it. So the stuff in the photo is not all that's going to be in the prize package. I wanted to have a couple, uh, you know, unexpected things in there as well. So there's going to be a lot of just goodies in there. So if you're an all-around seamstress, hopefully you would enjoy this, uh, this prize. And I'm hoping to do more giveaways too, so stay tuned for that. All right, so we've got a couple more. I made doll clothes before actually making my own clothes. And that, that is a good idea too because they don't take a lot of fabric and you can still use the same concepts. Um, also, I think, it's, I think McCall's has some, uh, some American Girl doll-like outfits. Um, I saw one where it was like a matching dress for the girl, for like a real girl and the doll, which I thought was sort of cute. Because uh, according to my coworkers, uh, American Girl dolls are uh, very hot. Um, I don't have any kids. I'm and actually I'm I, in full disclosure. Uh, we are not planning to have children, so we are going to be a uh, child-free household. But um, uh, you know, I, when I talk to these parents, like, they just say the funniest stuff these kids are into. And I was talking to my husband's niece, and she's really into uh, arts and design and DIY projects and craft projects. So, I mean, kids really are into that stuff. And if you are under 18, let me know what you're into. Um, does sewing interest you? Why or why not? 
Do you like doing crafty stuff? How did you find this channel? Um, so anyways, if you are under the age of 18, I would love to hear your opinion as well. So feel free to weigh in in the comments. So if anyone else has anything else they'd like to chat about, we can. Otherwise, I might be signing off soon because I would like to get some sewing done today. And also, James went to the flea market, and I kind of want to see what he, what he picked up. Uh, but thank you guys so much. I cannot believe we are at 4,000 subscribers, and uh, we're growing. So I think this community is becoming a really great place for us to share thoughts and ideas. And I want to keep that going. So, and also, um, if you would like to support a sewing report, um, there's a couple ways you can do that that really don't cost you anything. Um, but I would love this community to keep on growing and attracting more. Again, the overall goal is to encourage people and to motivate people to sew and also to introduce sewing to to new people. Oh, thank you very much, Kate. I really, appre really appreciate you watching. So there's a couple ways if you'd like to support Sewing Report in a way that doesn't cost you anything, um, here's what you can do. Um, I would love if you could share share my videos with other people that you think might be interested. You know, tell other people about the channel. That would be awesome. Um, I would really appreciate that. And that's a way for, um, you know, word of mouth is really a great way to um, find out about new things. This channel is still relatively new compared to other people that have been on YouTube for like 10 years, like Philip DeFranco or like Jenna Marbles, also YouTubers I enjoy. Um, but if you if you want to share this channel or share some of the videos with uh, your friends or family, I would very much appreciate that. I also occasionally do post affiliate links, and if you're not familiar with what those are, basically um, I'm in a couple programs like Amazon, Craftsy, um, I, think, I, I think I'm in a couple other ones. Um, like Walmart, Target, that sort of thing, and um, and basically, if you purchase anything from there, if you if you use my link to take you to the website, and then you purchase anything there, um, I get a little bit of a commission. Again, it's not it's not something that's making me rich, but it's something that helps make this channel sustainable. I would really like to invest in some better equipment eventually, if I can, just to make the videos better. And also, I'd like to I'd like to spend more time on these videos. So just to make them the best they can be. So if you if you'd like to uh, if you if you are buying something from Amazon anyways, um, feel free to use one of my Amazon links to take you there. If, if you buy anything on Amazon, it doesn't matter what it is, I get a little bit of credit for that. Um, so if you could do that, and that's something that doesn't cost you anything extra. Basically, if you're buying something from Amazon anyways, and you use one of my links, it would really help me out. So uh, thank you so much. I don't, and that's the thing, I don't, I don't know, I just feel kind of weird about asking people straight up for money. Like, like I, I totally respect people who do Patreon, and I don't have a problem with it, but I don't know, like, it seems like there's so much you have to pay for now. Like, everything's a subscription. Like, hey, pay $8 a month and do this, pay $9.99 for your Netflix. And I would really um, prefer to offer these videos and what I do for free to you. Um, because I just, I don't know, like, I'm not someone that likes to pay for all these add-ons, and I don't, I don't want to expect you to either. Um, but if you are purchasing something, particularly from Amazon, um, if you are buying something from Amazon, feel free to, before you do that, click on one of my Amazon links, or, um, in the description box, I've got a little link that says, uh, hold on a second... Uh, oh, so it says shop sewing reports favorite sewing and quilting products that will take you to my kit or you can again link to one of the Amazon links um, but it'll take you over to uh, it basically it puts like a little you know cookie on there that lasts for 24 hours so if you visit one of my links within 24 hours of purchasing I get a little bit of credit for that so thank you so much everybody and I really I really enjoy these Sundays talking to you guys and just discussing different things that affect us, like the patterns or some of, I don't know, just, it's fun. It's like a party. So anyways, I will see you guys next week where we are going to be talking about top indie pattern companies. And also, you know what, Champagne Twist, I think we should also probably throw in, there's a few websites that specialize in indie patterns, like uh, indie, was it like Indico, and then there's Upcraft Club. So maybe we can also talk about those sites that offer that they, they, they kind of have partnered with some of these indie pattern companies to bring them all in one place. So I think that's a great topic and thank you so much for suggesting it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. So anyways I will see you guys next week.
All right, Marie. Okay, I'm expecting to purchase something from Amazon tomorrow, so I will definitely use your link. Marie, thank you so much. And again, that's a way that um, that you can support sewing port without doing anything extra. Like basically, you're paying the same um, amount for the item. So if you guys could do that, that would be that would be amazing. So anyways, I hope you all have a great week, and uh, feel free to connect with me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, all at Sewing Report. Um, I'd love to hear from you, and you feel free to comment below. All right, I'll see you guys next week.